This is an NVIDIA Titan Black, made more terrific looking because it came with an EK water block attached. Although it looks like an awesome monolithic slab like this, I needed to alter it back to a regular cooler as I don't have a water pump. I also didn't have a cooler. The Titan Black is essentially a GTX 780 Ti. The 780 Ti came out in 2013 with 3GB of memory, a GPU clock of 875MHz and a memory clock of 1753MHz. The Titan came out a year later in 2014 with double the memory at 6GB, a higher GPU clock of 889 and a slightly lower memory clock of 1750MHz. So, with the 780 Ti being essentially the same as the Titan Black, I figured I could just use a 780 Ti cooler. I searched and found a bunch of dead Titans and 780 Ti's online, but I didn't want to pay £45 or more just for a blower cooler, so I looked on Facebook Marketplace and as if by magic, there was a temperamental 780 for only £20 in a nearby town. Even though it's not a TI version of a 780, I looked up its spec and found that this particular card is an overclocked one that runs a GPU clock of 967 MHz and a memory clock of 1502 MHz, so I figured if its cooler is rated for this, then it should do just fine on the Titan. As soon as I got it back, I tested the card. There was some artifacting and then a blank screen, but the fans came on just fine and that's all I cared about. So, I set to work. First, the water block needed to come off, which meant removing both sides, and then I needed to take the cooler off the 780. Once that was done, it just needed the VRM cooler plate to be transferred to the Titan, then cleaning up and repasting the GPU die. Then it was time to test it. Without having much installed on this PC I'm using, I just quickly popped over Lost Coast, Catzilla, and then installed 3D Mark from Steam. With Time Spy getting a score of 3421 and Fire Strike getting 5097, I can apparently expect to get over 80 frames per second in Battlefield 5 at 1080p. Catzilla is a fun, silly benchmark, netting me scores of 15,475. And Lost Coast gets an average count of 287 frames per second. Not bad for a card that in total cost me £82.21, and I can recoup some of that cost by, of course, selling the water block. During all that, the Titan got to a maximum temperature of 76 degrees with its borrowed cooler. No idea what that compares to with the rest of my kit as this is the first Windows 10 testing I'm doing on this PC. My plan is for it to be my next Ultimate XP machine, although not with this graphics card. Okay, well that was shorter than usual. No doubt the Titan will reappear soon. Until next time then, bye bye